future is a product of the decisions we make today. Hey, I'm Nivya, and in the previous videos, we traveled to different places via books. Today, we are not going to travel to a different place, but to a future date. Yes, to be specific, the year 2062 on the basis of the book 2062 by Toby Walsh. This is not a fictional book because this is written by an author who is a professor in AI artificial intelligence and he has done a lot of studies and analysis before writing this book in order to bring out the impact that AI artificial intelligence will bring into the society. Would it hurt us or would it help us? How it will impact during wars and also would we even lose our jobs? Would we have any jobs remaining? Because Machines will take up all the jobs. I mean, the AI will do all the jobs. And would we even have any jobs remaining? Would our brains be fed into the cloud directly, the data? All of this and a lot more is there in this particular book. So let's dig in to understand not just the questions, but the answers to them. All right, so let's start. This book starts with history. That is the rise of Homo sapiens, us. So in order to understand what would happen in the future, we definitely need to understand the past and the present or analyze it. So before Homo sapiens us, it was Homo neanderthalensis. How did we replace them? It could be climate and also the complex language that Homo sapiens brought in to communicate. Language helps us to work together. It helps us to learn not individually but as a society. Knowledge can be easily transferred from one generation to another with the help of language. Especially because of the development of writing, script, we just dominated the world, the Homo sapiens. But now, due to the technological advancements, it's more than writing. I mean, even videos, we can just upload it into the cloud and we know that the next generation can easily use this data the videos as well so it's not just writing now but a lot more digital ways have come up already now is there any constraint for language yes and what is that so if i basically want to share a thought of mine with you what would be the process i'll need to translate my thoughts into a language and then share it to you in the form of speaking or otherwise writing and then you will need to translate those words into your thoughts and this is a slow process and this is exactly where AI is going to shine co-learning and in fact Apple and Tesla are already using co-learning so if you for example take a Tesla car and you might be already aware that Tesla cars are Tesla is basically uh, trying ways to make a car completely automatic that is without a driver and if they find that they are taking one particular car and they found that there is a feature which can be added which will help in improving that particular car it's very easy for the rest of the tesla cars also to get the same feature as this car they just need to download the code and then share this particular improvement with the other cars and that is co-learning which is not currently existing in our homo sapiens language also the knowledge that we all have is so different like for example take the brightest student in a class who scores 100 on 100 in every subject just imagine if there was a mechanism by which the knowledge of that particular student could be transferred to all the other students in that particular class so the best knowledge right now is with one particular student which is being transferred to the rest of the classmates which means the best knowledge is going to be equally available to all the students in the class which is not possible right but with ai that's exactly what is happening i mean what is happening is the best feature whatever is there in one particular system is being shared with rest all of the systems so the best knowledge is there in all the systems and that's the power of ai now the question would we lose our jobs or not because of ai the author has clearly pointed out that the first people to lose their jobs because of ai would be the taxi and truck drivers because as we already discussed before Tesla and also Volvo are trying to build self-driving cars that is without drivers and hence drivers will lose their jobs first and this is not to make them scared or you know get worried about but then it's just that we need to be aware of it and what can we do basically we need to reinvent ourselves we need to keep learning new technologies uh, educational systems need to change and basically life long we'll have to learn keep learning it's going to be a never-ending process now the question whether human values or ethics will remain in future or not whether machines will be able to understand the same emotions of humans or not. 
very difficult in fact it will degrade and for illustrating it a very easy example is quoted in this particular work and that is if you try to translate a Turkish statement into English via Google translator you can see that old-fashioned prejudice and that is because Turkish language is gender neutral so even if you try to translate he is a cook via Google translator if it will show in English as she is a cook and it will be he is an engineer it's always going to be he is a soldier and she is a teacher she is a lover he is loved she is unhappy he is happy she is lazy he is hardworking. you can see the difference right similarly racism will prevail or it can even go to the worst condition because it highly depends on who or which subset of people are developing the code similarly the region as well so if a particular country is writing the code for the systems they will dominate the world you can definitely think about it let's speak about data now which is also called as a new oil because we all know how valuable it is right and for illustrating it again the author has given us a very easy example which we'll be able to easily understand and that is Facebook so let me read it out for you guys while Facebook are generating wealth from most of our data we the producers of that data are enjoying little of the value in addition all this data is putting our privacy under threat the author has also mentioned that our houses are going to be like big brother or big boss house because in future all the systems at our home be it tv refrigerator the bed or even the plant pots will be connected to internet and they would capture our data there would be no privacy at all even when we are at our home also, we all would be thinking right now that the Western countries are going to lead AI. But the author has clearly stated that there is going to be an end of the West and it is going to be China who is going to lead AI. Also, he has mentioned that India would be a threat to China because the growing population of India in the near future will cross that of China and hence even India might lead AI. But in spite of all this, we can still change the future as per the author if we do not sit laid back and think okay we just need to adapt to the future the way it is going to be no if we as a society makes a proper decision like for, for example a new law which will ensure that your dna code is going to be yours your data is not going to be shared to anyone or uh, social media cannot use your data all these laws if it comes properly in there then probably there is a chance that the future might not be the way he has mentioned in the book. There's a statement which is very commonly used and that is God created human beings. But we should remember that God did not create technologies. It is homo sapiens, human beings, us who created technologies. It is in our hands to decide whether it is for the better or the worse, whether technologies are going to be evil or good. I would definitely recommend you to read this book if you liked whatever I mentioned in this video. It's very simple in terms of language as well as illustrations. There's no max or um, graphs as such in this book. Now that we have traveled to the future together, let's also travel to the past in my next video. If you've not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and hit the like button if you like this video. Until we meet next time, bye, take care, happy reading.